um, we haven't been eating very well, we haven't been sleeping at all, but um, we've been working hard to try and um, develop a product that we can uh, demonstrate here at the Hackathon. data about the farmer's cows and it records it on the mobile app and it sends it straight up to the breed plan website. This system is a rapid dairy effluent purification system. We've been given the opportunity to come together and actually work out whether there's a feasible uh, case study for applying for research grants to actually build a prototype. A drone mounted solution to um, accurately measure grass pasture and that's not just the height but the density and the quality as well. Never met these guys before in my life, but here we are, we're uh, elbows deep in a project. Three weeks ago this thing didn't even begin to exist and now all of a sudden here we are telling everybody about all the things we've done and everything we managed to achieve in this time. Farms these days are getting more and more information and being able to get that information to the farmer and make the right decisions to improve the industry really. Fundamentally we believe that technology is advancing so rapidly that we're able to make a massive difference in some industries where it wasn't possible before. And agriculture is a key example of that. Collaboration is what innovation is all about. Yeah. If we don't do it, we won't be able to do it effectively. We've got to identify the market opportunity, work with the technology companies, work with the universities, mm. bring it all together. We'll do a whole lot better if we achieve that. The thing that I've really been impressed with is enthusiasm from both the techies and the farmers working together and trying to get some real solutions for farm issues or frustrations. So um, I think the community approach to this um, has been quite exciting and um, really looking forward to today um, with the pitches. AgriFlow offer a clean designed user interface where farmers can manage their automated robotic operations from anywhere. We are Breed IQ. We are in the process of developing a mobile app which stores your data locally until you reach into internet connectivity where it updates it to the PBBNZ website. Yeah, I'm really interested in how you did that in such a short space of time. Simon's probably spent 10 years thinking about this. I've taken nature and applied it, reverse engineered it, and made it as simple as possible. And we've come up with a solution that is a hub. It is mounted with sensors and it uses existing technology to measure height, density, and quality. The hub will send your data to an app, which will look like that, that's a design. 40 minutes ago we've just got the patent on the water trough monitoring system so that's pretty cool, pretty exciting the patent's gone through to AJ Park so that's exciting for us um, to get that patent in and, and have our names on that, it's exciting for the development going ahead. First place in receiving Palmerston North's Mayor's Innovation Cup and a thousand bucks cash from Accelerate 25 goes to Smart Farm Solutions. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Ben and we're Smart Farm. We're going to be creating clever power and connectivity solutions for industry. So the types of solutions we're looking at, being able to monitor and control certain operations of the farm instead of having to physically be there. We want to give farmers the tools to immediately identify when something requires action and the power to be able to remotely control that action, all from your phone. This could look something like shutting down water lines when there's a drop in pressure has been detected, turning on water systems for crops when temperature rises, or opening up gates at different times of the day when brake feeding. So when you consider there's about 42,500 livestock farms in New Zealand alone, that's millions of gates, tanks, fences, all that the Norbert could be easily adopted to monitor and handle. From this moment, I think farm work will changing dramatically, all right? And that's what I want to achieve. Thank you.